Hi friends, welcome to your weekly video. Before we get started, I do need to give a huge shout out to Keen for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Keen, you have been missing out. They are an online platform that connects you directly to psychics and spiritual advisors 24 seven. Even though I'm psychic and even though I read tarot, it doesn't matter. Sometimes your girl needs outside advice and I love being able to use Keen in a pinch when I feel like I'm in a pickle and I need to get an outside source to support me or guide me or provide me with quick advice in a jiffy. Keen's platform has you connected with vetted advisors and psychics that are available 24 seven. So it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you can always contact one of them for advice and love, career, guidance in your life, whatever it is that you are looking for. Keen has been so nice to our community here that they have provided all new Keen users with 10 minutes for $1.99. You can use this link right here, trykeen.com forward slash Charlene Lizette, or take a look at the link in the description box if you wanna try out Keen yourself. Make sure you take a look obviously at the advisors or psychics that you're using because every single one of them has different fees associated with their services. Keen's platform is super easy to use. Once you log in, get yourself set up. You can go ahead and scroll through, take a look at reviews, take a look at the different advisors that are available online and connect with the advisor that you feel is right for you. Make sure you go try them. Again, the link is in the description box below. It's the first thing, you can't miss it, all right? And now we're gonna get started with your weekly reading. We'll see you there, bye. Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for July 27th to August 3rd. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new, hello, hi, I hope you click subscribe. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Virgo, sun, moon, rising. We will talk about some crystals um, that may benefit you this week if you are into crystals and you like using them and uh, integrating them in your practice. Raven is here, so don't be surprised if you start hearing her make noises or she randomly jumps on the table. We haven't even gone into your reading. Uh, hello, hello, hi, hello, hi, okay. Okay, that's what we're doing, yeah. <laughs> what's that, what's the TikTok? Do, 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 do. Hello, it's a baddie here. Yes, nice to meet you. Wow, okay, that's beautiful. Was it like this, was it like this? I don't know, I'm going like this because that's what it's feeling like. Uh, some of you are moving. There's a new There's a new chapter here opening up for you. Yeah, lots of, wow, your money is at the forefront this week. This is beautiful. Dude, oh my gosh. The sun, the wheel of fortune, the seven of swords, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, what? Seven, one last one, please. The four of pentacles. Okay, holy, wow. Raven's like, you need to, you need to listen to this. Oh my God. I, I bet, but it be moved. I am speechless. The, the eight of wands, the four of wands and the magician. Okay, listen, if you've been wanting to move away from this career or move up or level up in career, in your home, in your life, in your relationships, whatever it is, okay, you, manifest that, okay? Manifest that. The eight of wands, the four of wands tells me that you have this energy to quickly move forward and manifest exactly what you desire, Virgo. Like this week, you are unstoppable. There is nothing that can stop you. This is a massive drastic change in your energy, in the way that you're working with energy, in the way that you're manipulating energy, and in the way that you are aligning yourself with the highest vibration, okay? Willow, I love you, honey, but we're not going to be a distraction today, okay? Thank you. So we live backing onto a really busy street and people walk behind our house and our garden, like our backyard all the time. So Willow likes to be outside and she likes to bark at everyone just to let them know that like, you can't mess with the house, which I love her for it, but she tends to love to bark a lot. Oh, she just was like, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. 
she literally like pulled her head out um when i'm doing readings and i think that's really you know a distraction of it and sometimes i'll let her do it but not today dude oh my god virgo virgo this reading is insane holy cow willow mina do not start no thank you venus success i know there's no greater goal to love venus is material wealth venus is also abundance and venus is also the things that we attract into our life okay the things that we bring forward into our life it's also um the things that matter to us right so materialistically what matters to you virgo the finer things in life this is very venetian in nature think about aphrodite and like attracting whatever she desires into her life okay success okay i understand that there is no greater goal than to love okay First, for some of you, there is new love on the horizon. I'm just going to say that. For others of you, what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is this incredible opportunity and this beautiful energy with the universe of you attracting exactly what you desire into your life, into your home life. Maybe you're remodeling, maybe you're moving, maybe you're renovating, but there's something about the materialism around your environment. Maybe it's like you're getting a makeover, you're working on your body, you're working on like, you know, getting rid of old clothes, getting new clothes. There's something around that that you're changing. It's like your energy is shifting. Holy cow, this is actually such a solid, like, like, I don't, I'm, I like, wow, this is such a solid energy in regards to like you, what you're attracting, what frequency you're vibrating at. This just feels incredibly powerful on so many levels. The ace of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles and the three of pentacles, lots of collaboration, lots of networking opportunities and a lot of freaking money and the opportunity to like either meet new clients, get new investments, invest in new things, but you are attracting and amassing a big amount of wealth into your life. Like you're literally like accumulating all the wealth and a lot of this abundance that you're creating is long-term stability and long-term abundance. That's in alignment with your ability to connect and network and negotiate like conversations with other people. Like I'd be curious to see if your seventh house um, has a lot of activity going on in your natal chart because when we do um especially if like the seventh house and the second house are activated or the seventh and the ninth um or even the seventh and the tenth because it looks here to me that your ability to make money is not something that you do on your own your ability to make money and amass wealth comes from networking and talking and creating relationships with other people the like what is this reading? It is the best reading I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. The sun and the wheel of fortune together based on yeah. You like things are good, man. Things are good. The universe is conspiring in your favor. The universe has your back. This is like I don't even know what to tell you other than like, yo, this week is going to be a lip. It's going to be mint. You're going to be on cloud nine. You're going to be feeling all the good vibes. I do have to tell you, be careful not to share all your successes with everyone with that seven of swords. It truly feels like there are some people that maybe are a little bit like jelly jelly of you or maybe don't want you to be successful or maybe um, aren't happy about the um, direction that you're going in your life. And then for others of you as well with that four of pentacles this is a time to conserve this money okay so just because you're making a lot of money doesn't mean that you're going to be spending it okay stability financial success being financially fun balanced um budgeting etc those are all amazing things that will support you in your life um that are going to play a big role for you this week okay like really budgeting really balancing stability structure okay and like you don't have to tell everybody your business if you have a lot of success going on not not everybody needs to know wait until like you have like something to like show off after like the big success you've gotten right like if you're buying a house don't tell people like oh i'm going to buy a house i'm going to sign the contract now across social media or like around your friends wait until after you've done it and then be like ta-da don't worry not a ghost just raven raven do you want to come say hi to virgo she's like no i want to continue to hit the the curtains all right let me get you into your crystals um with the, 
with all this money here, I gotta tell you, pyrite plays a huge role for you this this week, okay? So if you have any pyrite jewelry or if you have pyrite crystals, carry it with you. You can check out my website, Starcy Jewels, where I create modern day amulets, okay? I'm wearing a few pieces here. I'm wearing Rhea and I'm wearing uh, an Anna on my neck. I've got Venus here and Ishel, uh, Mal Ojo and, and Morrigan, but there's a bracelet called Bastet, which helps you attract financial abundance, okay? Because it's got that pyrite in there and financial stability. Okay, and another crystal for you as well would be the citrine. Where is it? There's a little tumbled piece of citrine right here, okay? Um, citrine uh, is all about luck, prosperity. It touches and it activates the solar plexus. There is this beautiful piece called Eshell on the website that's got citrine on it. It uh, transmutes any bad vibes and creates courage, hope, happiness, abundance, etc. around your life. All right, let's get into your love reading and see what's, what's good there. Okie dokes. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, attraction. You will attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Um, and unrequited love. And then wedding at the bottom. Okay. So, you know what? I think that that unrequited love may have to do, especially if you see the trajectory of these cards, with that seven of swords and that four of pentacles. Maybe you've been talking to somebody. Maybe you've been meeting somebody. Maybe you've been hanging out with somebody. Um... And the more successful you get, the more jealous they get. Like they're not genuinely happy for your abundance, for your success, or it's feeling that way anyways. Um, yeah, the Empress. Oh, dude, you are, oh my God, Virgo. The Ten of Cups. Virgo, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that, yeah. The wedding yeah you want a stable long-term relationship with that ace of cups in the wedding you got like you got ace of cups ace of pentacles and ten of cups ten of pentacles oh my lord okay i truly truly feel though that with this empress and the trust listen to your intuition okay babe you are on fire right now with your abundance with your success you don't have to pay attention to other people okay attraction and the ten of cups if you want the ten of cups attract the ten of cups literally the magician showed up when i was showing you the other cards you're the, you're a magnet right now okay and that unrequited love saying there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going with the two of pentacles i just feel like this person I don't know I don't want to call it jealousy but I feel like this person um thought dating you would mean that they would always be like above you and now that you're that's not the case anymore with all these magnificent cards Raven really with all these magnificent cards uh they might be getting a little bit jealous okay or they may be a little you know drinking a bit of that haterade so just pay attention to the red flags Pay attention to any signs and listen to your intuition because honestly, you're showing up in Empress energy. You got really amazing cards and you deserve somebody who is going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. All right. Okay, Virgo, if you are looking to shop over at Starzy Jewels, take a look at the description box below to shop um, and use the discount code YouTubefam for 15% off. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.